welcome to another video session on electrical engineering i am sandeep saxena today's our topic is the star delta starter so let's first we'll make this starter let's take a take a look on the drawing of the starter as you can see uh, a question arises that why this star delta starter is required when th there is a three phase motor and that can directly be connected to the three phase or like our DOL starter then why this starter is needed so if we see the motor configuration there are two types of connections one is a star and another is the delta connection in the star connection our motors terminal plate is shorted from upper end or the lower end which is called the star connections and uh, when we go to the delta connections there are short links towards the coils there are three fa three coils in the three phase motors so one when another is shorted if we supply phases to each coil then each coil of the same resistant resistance gets the same phase or, or the two phases so that the amount of torque is increased but what happens in the star connection in the star connection there are two coils which takes two phase so there are a division of voltage you can get it easily by this figure also as you can see it, it reduces the starting current to three four times let's see how do this happen as you can see in the picture these are the star connection this is my l1 this is the l2 and this is the l3 so when i supply my three phase to this as you can see there are l1 and l2 in between there is a common point that means if I calculate the impedance towards L1 and L2 it is more than the delta because as you can see there is a single coil and there are double coils so impedance is increased that's why the torque is decreased as you can see these are the terminal connections of the motor these are the terminal connections of delta as you can see in the delta connections L1, L2, L3 gives the separate phase to the coil or you can say two phase like L1, L2, L1, L3 directly go to the different coil so that it directly works on the 400 volts approximately and in the star as the as you can see the motor starts as star connected that is voltage reduced by the root 3 current reduced by the root 3 and power reduced by the factor of 3 that's why this star delta starter is needed so that we can reduce the initial torque so let's take a look on the drawing of the starter as you can see this is the drawing of our star delta starter here is the timer t1 guys what do this timer t1 does this actually does a delay a delay between holding of two contactors one is of star contactor and another is of delta contactor as I have explained previously first when we start the starter motor runs in the star and then it goes to the delta so that it would have a lesser torque than the delta because in the starting of the motor we don't require that much torque that's why do we do such things or we start also this is for the this secures our losses this doesn't get any loss in making a star delta starter so when we connect the timer the timer first holds the star contactor and when whatever time we set in this timer 
then it goes it gives supply to the another contactor which is the delta contactor so if I set for example if I set 10 seconds in the timer then first my DOL section with this is the DOL section as you can see this will hold the KM1 contactor also by this this timer T1 would get supply when this would get supply this will give the supply to the my star contactor star contactor is the KM3 <coughs> so also I have passed the NC contact of KM2 in series with the uh, star contactor also I have passed the NC contact of KM3 with the KM2 so that it would not happen uh, it would not be a possibility of happening any accident in the starter so that our both of our con contactors would not be hold at the single time that's why this system is made or this series of T1 and KM2 NC is made as you can see so let's take a look on the physical drawing which we will make in our workshop and let's have a look how do this starter works so guys let's take a look on the drawing of the star delta starter these are the start stop buttons this contactor is taken from the anode terminal of the main contactor our main contactor is the KM1 and KM2 is the star contactor and KM3 is the delta contactor so if I hide this section you can see this is the normal DOL starter as we made earlier so today we can see, we will see that what is added in this starter here is the timer T1 let's see what does this timer do in the starter and how do this supplies current to the star and delta contactors so as we can see the supply of the timer first comes to the star contactor and then it goes to the delta contactor as you can see uh, when we set a time uh, for example if we set 10 seconds in the timer then when we press the start button the supply will come and the supply will come our contactor KM2 will be hold till 10 seconds only because we have settled only 10 seconds in the timer so when the this completes the 10 seconds this gives supplies to the supply to the our delta contactor and this terminal get shorted here and this will become open also we can see we have taken for the convenience the NC contact of KM3 contactor our first hold it contactor will be the KM2 so if we took this from NO then what would happen this will be the open circuit that's why this is taken from the NC element or the NC contact of the KM3 contact contactor so when this will be holded this will be open because this KM2 will be open and when our 10th second would complete the timer would complete the 10 seconds this will supply uh, give the supply to the KM3 then KM3 will be hold and when this will be hold its NC point will be NO so this will be open at that time after 10 seconds this will be open you will see that in the real circuit when we will do the wiring we will see how this logic works so let's do some hard wiring and we will test our starter how it works so today we have these components for the starter this is this will be our timer t1 
here the 16th terminal is the NC terminal of the timer this terminal will be will pass the supply when it will get the 230 volts as this is NC so this will normally closed and this will conduct and when the value of the time will be completed as right now you can see it is settled on 5 seconds so after 5 seconds the supply would come on the 18 terminal this 18 terminal will get the supply today we have three contactors one is of star and other is of delta and this will be our main contactor also we have taken a remote box today we will not take the we didn't take the push buttons as we taken earlier so this is also called the start stop box also called the remote box where we can operate any our starter from a long wire or from field so let's do some hard wiring and test the starter so the wiring has now been done as you can see this portion will be our DOL starter and then here comes the wiring for the star delta starter this is the 16th terminal will pass through this NC contact and then this came on the coil supply of this star contactor green is taken as neutral in the whole circuit and when the 5 seconds been completed the supply would come on the 18th terminal on this wire and this will pass through the delta contactor NC terminal and this will hold the delta contactor so let's test the starter and see how it works so the timer is healthy now the delta contactor is healthy let's check it once again So it is working perfectly. So this was the star delta starter. If any questions and queries you can directly email me on my email id. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.